Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MXGP2 here in this channel. This is KPG Guna here and in today's episode on this MX1 season we are in Italy. Now this is a very very challenging circuit. I've, I've really struggled on this circuit in the past. I did a couple of wild car races on this circuit and uh, I've never really settled in on this circuit. Never really done a good time. Um, Qualifying is going to be a real challenge in this MX1 season. I'm going to get straight into it, try my best. I'm hoping for at least to get top 10 if possible. Well, we don't know what it's going to be like, so let's get straight into it now and see if we can get a good qualifying. Oh my god, this circuit's tough. Uh, we've done half a qualifying so far and still haven't managed to get a time that's worthy of even 20 seconds. We seem to be about four seconds behind at the AI round this circuit. It is so much harder on the, in this MX1 season than it was in the MX2 season and I just cannot manage it. This is going to be a very, very tough episode today and uh, these two championship races are going to be really, really open. I can't really say uh, who's going to win it. I mean, there's so many riders that are really doing well around the circuit at the moment. Looking at the times, I think Cairoli and Febro. Oh, no, I've fallen off again. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep pulling back up the hill and I've fallen off again. But, yeah, looking at that, uh, Febra's uh, leading the uh, qualifying at the moment, Cairoli and uh, Desali. So, um but 127.5 is a ridiculous time around this circuit. I can't even get about... The um, best I've done um, was about a 130 uh, something, I think. And uh, that just was not even quick enough for 20 seconds. So, oh, this is going to be a really, real big, uh, difficult race today. Especially doing it in the two different views again. But, uh, you know, I always try and do better in the races than I do in qualifying. It, it does push you a little bit more with other riders uh, to uh, fight against and uh, try and take their lines and uh, battle with. But uh, we will have to see. But I want to at least get some decent qualifying time on there. Because where you start in this race, it's a very challenging two slow corners that you've got to get into. And if you don't have a good place, cutting in from 20 seconds is going to be an absolute mission. So let's just see if we can just get one clean lap at least. But, um, yeah, I remember in the MX2 season, we did a couple of wildcard races around here. And I really, really struggled. I'm not sure whether I won the races. But it's not a circuit that I I, I, I really, really find easy. It's just, it's just got so many sections on it that um, I, I find really difficult. And it's right at the end of the circuit. It's the most challenging bit. Just going up this bit here. Uh, going around this uh, tough corner at the top of this hill see i'm already a second and a half behind i just don't know where i'm losing the time this is the section i keep on mucking up and keep getting crashed off on but uh, this is the best i've done so far let's have a look at the time i don't think i'm gonna get anywhere near that 127 no i'm not oh my god i'm miles behind again and we take 12 oh god two and a half seconds behind right i think i need to make some adjustments Right, guys, at the end of the qualifying, uh, we made a few adjustments. We still couldn't do a better time than 12th, and we actually managed to... Uh, our time actually dropped down to 14th in the end. Oh, this is going to be a challenge, but we're going to get into the first race. Fingers crossed. I'm going to just try my best. If we can get a podium, that would be great. If not, uh, we were going to drop points at some point, so let's get straight into it now and hope for the best. Right, guys, so here we go with the first championship race, and this is going to be a real challenge in today's episode. I'm going to try my best, but I'm going to need a good start try and get into those slow corners and try not to get knocked off and just try hope for the best so let's see if we can cut him we need to get a good start here and drop the clutch and that wasn't too bad can i cut across and get into that first corner maybe get the whole shot and i do i managed to get in just before all the other riders cut in now see slow corners are really tough you've got to really try and get in there tight and mine uh, don't get knocked off and febra came up the inside there but just managed to get through there without getting knocked off and i'm leading around this italy circuit now this isn't gonna last i know there's so many sections on here i struggle on let's try and get nice and tight into that corner god it ran it a bit wide febra's trying to cut the outside of us we've got to try and go just hold him back as long as we can on this first lap and give ourselves half a chance in this championship race but it's not going to be easy like i said we weren't uh, we don't have any sections on this track that we're quicker than the ai on this is a circuit i really need to get some practice on to do better uh, hopefully in the future i will start to do some like time trials around here and just improve my times around these circuits but it's just a tough circuit overall it's not it's not one where you can get up to really top speeds there's so many turns and jumps and stuff like that but uh, we're leading the uh, championship uh, first race so far and this hasn't been bad let's just try and stay ahead of february but he's right behind me i'm not pulling away and i knew i wouldn't 
and he's about half a second behind us looking at that split point right this is the corner i was worrying about got to try and get round here and not make a mistake and no i couldn't do it i'm really slowed down then think feb is going to take us on the outside and i think yes he's going to take the lead now he was so much quicker than me i wasn't expecting to get anywhere near him and we crossed the line and uh, that wasn't a bad time for the first lap. And I managed to jump in front of Feb Rope that jump. What an awesome jump there. So we've gone back into the lead. Let's just try and fight with him all the way. Hopefully we can improve on our times around this lap. Oh, God, again, I didn't get into that nice and tight. It's such a challenging corner. And the second one. And we're leading again. This has been brilliant so far. Can we hold on to this? If we could perform like this for the rest of the race, hopefully. Oh, God, I just cut that a little bit much. Went off the circuit slightly. And Feb is taking up the inside and he's back in the lead so uh, Febra is really really on it today can I get back at him I need to try and stay with him and I lost a little speed through that corner and I've got someone else behind me oh god this is going to go all wrong they're all catching up and Febra's pulling away and I'm just making mistake after mistake right let's just try and go up here try not to make any mistakes keep fingers this alley behind us and oh, the back end stepped out there trying to give it a real a tight angle there try to get around there let's try and go around the outside can i catch up with february here let's try and get in front of him and hopefully he won't knock us off let's just ground it yes we get in front of him awesome so we're back into second but he took me on the outside oh bloody hell he's doing so well he's not having none of it he really wants to get a win he is so far behind and i made a mistake damn i made a mistake the bike kicked out and i went off track and it's reset me but luckily i'm still in second place but that was an absolute nightmare but uh, let's just try and hold on. We've still got another lap. We might be able to catch up with Febra if we can just get back in a rhythm. And I've jumped down circuit again. I'm really struggling. I'm really trying to push it here. Right, we're going to the final lap. It's do or die. Can I, can I stay in this place and at least get a podium? Second wouldn't be the end of the world. We're nowhere near these sort of times in qualifying. And uh, the race is actually running a lot slower than qualifying, which is, uh, has played into my hands because I was not running at the speed that they were in qualifying. But it is a lot harder to get those sort of speeds in the race because there's so many other bikes to challenge with. And that's just, oh God, I'm going to skid around that corner. I'm really trying to push it now to see if I can catch up with Febro. We're not going to get many chances. We've got Ryan Villapoto behind us and he's about to second and a half behind us. So we are slightly pulling away from the group, which is a good thing. So hopefully I can at least finish in second. But if I get one more chance to take Febro, I'm going to take it. So let's just see if we can catch up with him here. But he's, no, he's running so quick. Is really flying now. I think he's going to get maximum points. And uh, we've pulled that gap slightly a little bit further away from third. At least we've got a position to hold on to at least. And uh, we said a podium would be great at the start of the race. Right, we're right behind Feb. We're coming into the last few corners. Can we take him here? Yes, we managed to get in front of him. Can we take a win in this race? Oh, no, Feb is taking me off. Feb is taking me off. Oh, you absolute git. Oh, my God. And I've made another mistake there, just trying to pull off. Oh, God. And they're really catching up with me. I could lose even second now. Oh, bloody hell, Febra. That was a bloody annoying thing to happen right on the last couple of corners. But luckily, we've managed just to get back into it. And we might be able to hold on to second place. But, oh, God. That is so frustrating. But there you go. You've got to take a chance. And it didn't work out in that race. But we took second, which is an absolute brilliant position, considering how slow we were in qualifying. Now we go into the second race, but now in first person. Can we put in a better performance than that and try and win it? I'm not sure. Febra's going to be on it to get maximum points in this championship. So let's get straight into the second race and keep our fingers crossed. Here we go. Right guys, so here we go with the second championship race, but now in first person. Now the challenge in this race is to try and get Roman Febra back. He absolutely pole axed me at the end of that race to take victory. Let's see if we can get him back and do better in this one. Now we need a good start, so let's see if we can get a good start. That wasn't bad. Now let's cut across, try and get the whole shot. Can we get it for the second time in this championship? And yes, we do. Right, now it's going to take probably a lap or so to settle in on this view. We don't always uh, qualify, uh, do any qualifying in this view, so it does take me a little while to get used to it. It does give you a, uh, a different uh, sense around the track, and it does take a little while to get used to it. And I've seen a couple of crashes that are going on behind me, so there hasn't been a great start for the riders behind me, but it's Roman Febra that's sitting in behind me. Now, I wasn't surprised by that. He's going to try and get to me if he can, like he did in the previous race, but he's he's having a few uh, battles of his own behind. Let's see if we can pull away and uh, look there's loads of battling loads of overtaking going on and uh, looking at the split time oh my god nearly two seconds and it's Norval in second what the hell has gone on behind me 
there must have been a couple of crashes in the uh, riders behind me and that slowed down the whole lot from and another one Kai Rowley's had a crash oh my god all the top riders seem to be cl crashing like anything behind me but I'm going to take that little bonus that comes my way on this first lap and if I can get away maybe I can just have a really decent race and get maximum points that would be the plan let's just see what the next split time is and uh, let's look at the time oh my god nearly three seconds oh this is brilliant so far all um, I've got to do now is just try and stay on the bike and not make any mistakes and another crash sign loads of crashes and I think getting away has just worked in my favour let's see if we can settle down into this race and just try and hold that gap it's uh, Nagle that's behind us still two and a half seconds almost that is just unbelievable but uh, you've got to do this sometimes. If you can get away and just get away from all those crashes that you get on those slow corners, it does give you a slight advantage. And it's cold and hot. That's fine for second with Nagle. And I don't know where Roman Feber is. He's really dropped back in this race. But if he doesn't finish second and I finish third, then I'm going to take the championship overall, which would be absolutely brilliant. Because in qualifying, I was absolutely worrying about not even getting a podium. And I've made a mistake. Oh, damn, I just went slightly off course, but luckily we've got a decent lead and hope we didn't lose too much time. We have to wait until we look at the next split point to see how much we lost there. Um, and we did. We lost quite about half a second or so, but it's Koldenhoff in second place. He's really going for it in this race. He's done really well. It's, um, he did okay in the first race. Now he's going for the second place in this race, but uh, he, Nagel's not going to let him have it easy, so there's going to be a lot of battling going on behind us, but if they can just carry on battling throughout the rest of this second lap and into the third lap, hopefully I can carry on pulling away. I've got to have a better lap here try not to make any mistakes and that was slightly better through there let's try and keep a nice line and let's have a look at the split point have i pulled away no it's not uh, much more than it was on in the previous lap still about two and a half seconds but going into the final lap with two and a half seconds in our favor is going to be absolutely brilliant and we can really just take easy not go too mad let's just go over the finish line and uh yes we're on to the final lap Right, here we go. Can we do this and take a victory in the MX1 season round this tough Italy circuit? I wasn't expecting to get any uh, sort of results like this today. And that's a really tough corner again. Just try and take it nice and easily. Easy, don't fall off the bike. If I cock it up now, it'd be my own fault. Let's get nice and tight into that corner. Again, that wasn't too bad. And looking at the next split time, and it's still just over two and a half seconds. But that is amazing. That should be enough for us to bring it home and get to maximum points but uh, let's just try and keep it nice and easy round here it doesn't take much to make a mistake and I can see Roman February so he's back into fourth place he's got to jump two places if he wants to go level on points if I can get the win and I've extended it to three seconds can I hold on to this there's not much further to go but there's still a few corners that I, um, I really have trouble on and there's another crash there hopefully that's in the group behind and Nagel's back into second I'm not sure uh, which one's going to win out there. Is it going to be Cold and Hoff or is it going to be Nagel? But both of them are not uh, running for the championship. They're sort of in, I think, third and uh, sixth place or something like that. So um, that's good for me. So get Roman Febra out of the way. And look at the gap now. It's over four seconds. This has been a brilliant uh, third lap. And we're going to bring the victory home as long as we don't crash now. And we're going to come over the finish line. And this has been brilliant. And there you go, guys. Another brilliant win. And we take a maximum point. And we win the overall championship, I think. Because Febra didn't even finish. He finished sixth. Overall, guys, it's been a good championship today in Italy, and I cannot believe it. I was really worried about that circuit, but we took a maximum points in that last race to bring us the overall championship win. And look at the gap now. We are starting to pull away, but Roman February is back into second ahead of Nagel. This has been brilliant in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I will see you soon for the next round very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.